And 2023, you see this show right here, this segment you're listening to, it's the cheat code. As you like to do team building, because team building is a sport, you'll be able to tell all your friends and your buddies, this is how the Cowboys can solve this thing, or this is how teams can get around this thing, or don't forget, there's $110 billion over 11 years that they got to chop up. In 2023, the cap is projected to go up to $230 plus billion dollars from 208. Now, this is the good thing about listening to me and Fitch. Over all these years we've been covering NFL football, we've got relationships with not only front offices, including Jerry and Steven, we've got relationships with the agents, like Lee Steinberg, like Jordan Ward, like Joe Corey, like... Uh, Rocky Arsenal. We pick their brains because guess what happens, Tolos? The ones who like to keep up with the salary cap, they have to negotiate with the Stephen Joneses. So they've got to know what Stephen is trying to do. They are the ones who have to say, okay, let's word the contract this way so that my player and my client will get paid. They've got to take up for their client. They can't get bamboozled and hoodwinked by Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones and all the different owners all the time. they got to know where the cap is going as well. So as we tell you about these Cowboys individually and their situations, and oh, what's going to happen with Tank? Oh, what's going to happen to Omari? We've talked to some agents too. All right, well, let's start with Stephen saying the cap is real. Of course the cap is real. That's not the argument. That's not the argument. Thank you, Fish. Cap hell isn't real. Think, give me some thought. I've that, been saying that all week long. It's cap hell is not real. Cap is a, the salary cap is simply a budget, just the same as your household budget. Your household budget is real. But you have different ways to pay your bills. Some ways include using your credit card. Okay, the credit card usage doesn't go under this year's cap. No. If you use your credit card to pay your mortgage, that is not included in this month's budget because you don't have to pay your credit card this month. And so I'm not saying that Steven's trying to hoodwink anybody with these explanations, but the, the, the realities of working within the cap are real. Yes. But this idea that we, well, we just can't sign him is false. It's false. You can, you can almost literally sign everybody you want. It's just a matter of how you want to do it, when you want to do it, how much you want to do it, when do you want to pay a penalty if there is one, in the case, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, because because everything you're saying is a fact, and we get so many different tolos who love team building. They sound like we're still in their joy when we tell them, no, there's different ways to do this. Cap hell is not real. There's 110 billion dollars that has to be chopped up, and there is a reason why agents were telling their clients, football players last year, sign a one-year deal. There's a reason why Lee Steinberg put triggers and clauses in his half a billion dollar contract he did for Patrick Mahomes. These agents know the ins and outs, and we know the agents. Okay. So when we tell you cap hell is not real, we know there are ways to do this. The Cowboys helped create and cer or certainly popularize the idea of the switched flip. Mm -hmm. So let's walk through the four guys that are on everybody's mind. Dak Prescott first. Okay. And we just had our conversation with Steve Berline, and Berline's right. He says, Dak, Berline is essentially a non-believer in Dak yet, because he hasn't done it yet. Yeah, he's looking at the arm talent. Okay, and that's fine. Uh, he's, he's saying, prove it. He's not anti-Dak, he's just saying he hasn't done anything yet. And relative to what the Cowboys are paying to do, that's hard to disagree with. The Dak Prescott contract, that's this whopping number, has built into it, avoidable year at the end that's got no money in it the cowboys between now and march 16th will and, and we reported this uh this is a fact they will flip a switch and move 16 million dollars out of this year's cap commitment to DAC and move it into the year 2023 i believe it is exactly in okay fact, here's those numbers for you to work with first. okay his four-year deal averages 40 million dollars a right. season it was written with those two void, voidable years. Right. And that allows his signing bonus to be allocated over five years. Right. And they can have a second year restructure. Basically, his current base salary is $20 million with a cap hip of only $34.45 million. If they restructure the deal and spread out that money, you can save $15.2 million in okay. March. Now, I'm going to change the terminology on you. They don't have to. Re they don't have to restructure this now. It's already in the contract. They just. They don't even have to call him. 
Well, they don't have to negotiate. He doesn't have to sign anything. They just go, okay, we're going to activate paragraph C, item 12 on page 39. They don't even have to tell him. And it doesn't change his salary. It doesn't change his income. Right. It just changes the bookkeeping and on where on, on where his where the cap's going to get paid, not DAC, the, the cap. cap. So there's a $16 million savings right now. Okay, and if you're if you view the Cowboys as being, some people say 13, some people should say 21. If you view them as being 16 million dollars over the cap, I just got you under the cap. Exactly. With one move, so there's one. You want to, you want to so crazy? They've got dead money liabilities and stuff, and people don't even know those, but we've got them right here because we know the agents. Name another player, and I'll give you some numbers. You can go ahead and talk. Okay, about let's do Amari Cooper. Okay, let's go straight to Amari, and everybody. Um, Amari Cooper is going to get cut. And slow down. Yeah, slow down. And let me say this one thing before we give you his numbers and Fish gives you the explanation. They were saying that about Amari when he didn't sign his, his uh, extension the first time and it went through the season because he changed ages and people weren't aware of that. And they said, he's gone. Guess what? Not only did he do a Cowboys uh, hometown discount because he could have signed for more money. Washington, Washington wanted to give him a little more, yeah. Exactly. He said, no, I want to be a Cowboy for life. When the people looked at the contract, they said, wait a minute. Who the hell is this agent? Because this is Cowboys friendly. He's cuttable at any time. So trust us when we say, wait a minute, Mari wants to be here. The Cowboys, the contract is favorable to the Cowboys. Let's look at the numbers. Okay, so on the one hand, it was a, it looks like a $100 million contract. On the other hand, it's got escapability now. So it's it was never going to be a $100 million contract unless the Cowboys want it to be. And, and they, they can. They can also... Release Amari Cooper in a certain way that saves $8 million. But it's a $27 million cap hit. So, yeah, you could save $8 million. You're still spending $19 million on a player who's not here. Exactly. Do you, uh, is that an optimal thing to do? No, especially when you don't have a real plan B. By the way, if you restructure this deal, you save twelve point yes, you can seven million. Yes, you can also restructure it. And so, so realize this. He is a core piece. Because, as you just mentioned earlier, Fish, and this is what all people who love to team build realize, there's a real cap, but there's no real cap hell. So if you've got a core player who's not 30 years old that you think, oh, yeah, this guy is an asset, we can also trade him down the road if we wanted to, you can restructure his deal. In fact, with Amari Cooper, because we tried the wide receiver by committee, remember they fired Dez, tried to go wide receiver by committee, because Scott Linehan tried to talk him into that. He wound up getting fired. Jerry and Steven have lived through that before. You right. better figure out how to get the ball to Amari Cooper okay. instead of just cutting him. And I respect Chris Arnold, uh, Mike Fisher here on 105 Through the Fan. I, I respect that you have an opinion on what they should do. Uh, the chair that I'm sitting in, I'm not there yet. I'm just telling you, I can tell you what they're thinking, which is they have not decided on Amari Cooper. They have decided on Dak. They have not decided on Amari Cooper. I don't care who tells you different. Mm -hmm. It's not true. Not yet. Yeah, it's not decided. And they have options. So I'm just here to present options. I'm not here to make premature predictions. I'm telling you what their options are. Let's go to Tank Lawrence quickly. Tank Lawrence. Tank Lawrence, cap-wise, is expensive. Here's, here's his deal. If you trade or release him June 1st, you save $19 million uh, in 2023. That's still $11 more million of dead money you owe him. He has two years remaining on his contract for $19 million and $21 million, respectively. His bonus proportions add $8 million to each year. Therefore, there's an additional $3 million on a board year of 2024. Okay, so quickly, he's got avoidable year as well. Yes. So he's got, you're committed to him cap-wise for the next three years. I think it's next year's eight eight three. I think it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can put you can move money into the voidable year. Now it'll you'll you'll be paying the piper that year because maybe he won't be playing here at age thirty two. Maybe not, but it's completely doable. You can also go to him and just rewrite the whole contract exactly. and, and start all over again. I don't think he'll love that idea, but you can go to it. And then finally, Randy Gregory. Randy Gregory is a free agent. Yep. You can you can tag him. That's twenty million dollars. Exactly. He can gripe about it because. He's not going to get $100 million guaranteed or all that kind of stuff, but he can't not sign it. Right. So you could tag him. You could also go to him and say, we're not paying you $15 million a year, even though that might be your view of the going rate. And Jerry and Randy can sit down and say, uh, Mr. Randy, we've been pretty good to each other over the years. And Randy will know what he means. The idea of a hometown discount of sorts exactly. will, would allow you a chance to keep Randy Gregory. So there's the big four. 
and there's panic in the streets. They're going to lose them all. They're going to spend too much money. They're going to not. Right. They, they don't know yet what they're going to do, except they're prioritizing Gregory. Mm -hmm. They will definitely do DAC. They have options with Amari and Tank. And realize this, agents have also been aware that, you know what? You can prove yourself on a one-year deal because every team is going to be loaded with cash. The cap goes up to 230 in 2023. That's one more year of a one-year deal. These are all options that the Cowboys are currently reviewing, even if they even want to cut Anthony Brown. That's $5 million saving. Zach Martin can restructure the 72 point. You get $7.2 million off of his deal. The kicker, $2 million. Exactly. On and on and on. On and on and on. The, so that's the, your... the cap is real. Cap hell is a myth. Ding, 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 ding. Bottom line. Courtesy of...